Shift your mind, shift your heart, shift your soul. That's where you start. Shift, 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 stand up for and play today. Shift, 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 stand up for and play today. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Shift TV, where we encourage you to stand hopeful in faith today. I am your host, Caritha McCall, and today we have another amazing episode. We have yet another mighty woman of God that's shaking and moving in the kingdom of God, and you are going to want to get to know her. Her name is Toni Stone, and she is a mighty woman of God that's doing things in the kingdom of God to uplift and encourage women all around the world. And so I'm not going to take up all the time letting you know who she is. I want to give her an opportunity to let her know a little bit about who she is, how you can find her and what she's doing to help build the kingdom of God. So without further ado, welcome, 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 Miss oh, Tony. Pleasure to be here. You are so pleasure. welcome. Thank you so much for being here oh, today. Thank you. I thank you so much for accepting the invitation. You look beautiful as always. Uh, thank you. And thank you're welcome. You you're well. welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. So um, let's get right into it. And so we're going to have some people that are going to watch this particular episode, and they don't know who Tony Stone is. Okay. Can you tell the people right. who is Tony Stone? I know you, but can you share with the people yes. who Tony Stone is? Yes. Well, first and foremost, I'm a child of the Almighty God. I'm a mother. A, I have a daughter. I am a daughter. And friend, mentor, author, encourager, um, teacher and in the process of working on some manuscripts and books to carry past what God's given me to do mm -hmm. because we're fashioned for purpose. And first and foremost, we need to, that's our foundation, is the characteristics of Jesus Christ and who we are in Christ. Absolutely. And that's what I have to share because of my past and things I've gone through. And I wasn't taught when I got saved, wasn't really taught about the fruits of the Spirit you know love and peace and joy it's just a scripture in galatians that oh you read it it's a good it's just a good scripture mm -hmm. right but you know what how to cultivate those can be really tough so a lot of it is um getting in there and learning what's love all about you know it's kind of like a closet and you get up and you get dressed in the morning and i share a little bit about that in my book um so you get up and you're going okay what am i going to adorn myself with today is it going to be love peace joy what am i going to put on my body so that I can go out and share with the world. And it's a process. It's a daily process because we have to battle some things, emotions or whatever you're going through at the time and anger may erupt or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so we have to stop and think, okay, now I need to cultivate the spirit of love or, or whatever it is that you're going through at the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You are on it right now because in the times that we are living in, I believe everybody that that is walking um, with Christ, I think all their fruits are being uh, tested yes. at this time. And so when you're talking about being tested and you're talking about cultivating things, um, the, the reality is, is that um, in order for us to manifest those characteristics, a lot of times pressure is applied yes. and that pressure may feel like pain. Yes. You know? Yes. And so while we don't like how it feels, sometimes it's absolutely necessary for us to go to the next level in order to be able to walk those fruits out that you're talking oh, about. Yes. You know? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so I you know, I can testify in, in a way that, you know, this last season, whatever however long this season is to God, it has been a testing of my character. It has been a testing of my integrity. It has been a testing. And so when you're talking about this new book that you have written, it is entitled Fashion for a Purpose. You're going to want to get this book, Fashion for a Purpose, by Miss Tony Stone. When you're talking about Fashion for a Purpose, Miss Tony, can you tell the people what, is, what actually can they look forward to in reading this book? Well, we're, design, we're all designed for a purpose. Mm -hmm. God had a purpose in mind. He knew us before we were formed in our mother's wombs, right? So he knew. And sometimes we get off track. I've been off track. Me too. I've been reeled back in, as I believe we all have. Mm -hmm. But we're living in a season where we really need to know, you know, and those hurts and the pains that we've experienced in life. And I've had many, and part, it's part of my testimony that came out of this as well. Mm -hmm. And working the courts and seeing young girls you know, and women fall in between the cracks and they put them in 
different classes, you know, anger management mm -hmm. or drug and alcohol, whatever it is. And I'm seeing women fall, just again, fall between the cracks. And I'm going, God, there's got to be something beside these classes. But you know, the Lord spoke to me, it's not getting to the, it's getting to the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. What's the root of the problem? Mm -hmm. It's within our souls. We're wounded. Our souls have been wounded. And if our souls are wounded, how can we go forward in the things of God? Because we're so caught up. We need that key. What's that key to unlock? Mm -hmm. Galatians 5. Mm -hmm. talks about walking in love and peace. Well, how do we do it? Well, I, I mentor a 90-day program okay. on mentoring through on how to get through those things. Um, different, just an example of um, just, you know, adorning your body. What are you going to put on in the morning? What are you going to wear when you step out of the house? What are you going to pull out of your closet? What are you going to put on? Is it going to be a coat of peace, mm -hmm. love, humility, joy, whatever it is? We need to adorn our bodies and be prayed up before we walk out mm -hmm. um, that door because you know the Bible talks about a secret place which represents a closet, yeah. and um, we've heard about that in movies as well. Mm -hmm. You know the closet that was the war room. You know the closet. Yes. You know that's a secret place. That's where you can go to and say, God, you know, I give myself to you today. Use me however you want to use me, and take off that hanger, whether it's a book or whatever it is. Clothe yourself in that when you walk out that door. And um, you know, you're gonna be tested through that. Mm -hmm. I am every day, we all yeah. are. Whether it's driving you know, down the road and somebody pulls in front of you, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna handle it? Mm -hmm. Someone says something ugly to you or about your child or about a friend of, you, of yours, you get defensive. Well, why get defensive? So it's putting on those characteristics of Jesus Christ so that we know how to walk it out in life. And that helps us find our purpose without that it's hard to find your purpose and to know who you really are. Mm -hmm. That's really good, Tony. And so that takes me into my next question. So when we're talking about putting on these characteristics of Christ, these fruits, mm -hmm. what would that look like to someone that's watching this today and maybe they've never heard about putting, put, putting the fruits of the Spirit on? Maybe they're new in the faith. Maybe they're not in the faith at all and they've, they've come across this television show today. In order to walk in that peace, in order to walk in that love, in order to walk into that gentleness and that temperance and all those things that you're talking about so that we won't get pulled out of character, so right. that we won't operate in our emotions. What does that look like to put that on? Well, it's a daily, it's a daily task, mm -hmm. honestly, because sometimes you're going to go out and you know what's ahead of you in your day, and you know what you're gonna have to deal with. So let's just say, you just need the peace of God because mm -hmm. you're going into a courtroom, you're facing a judge, or you are, you're having trouble with your child. Whatever it is, you might just need peace. Mm -hmm. God, just envelop me with your peace. I always suggest, get, get you a journal. Okay. Journaling the journey is so important. Mm -hmm. And find the, all the scriptures you can on love. Doesn't don't overwhelm yourself with all the scriptures. I'm one of these, you know, just meditate on it. Find the scriptures of love and just meditate on those scriptures and ask God to just start cultivating that within your spirit. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So find scriptures that deal with love and meditate on those. Yes. Say those out loud and that will begin to cultivate the fruits of the it spirit. It does. The, the word of God does not go void mm -hmm. as we know. And the more you speak it out, whether it's putting something on your mirror in the morning, some scriptures on the fruit of the Spirit, and just repeating those daily, it, you know, it gets in your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Once it gets in your heart, it starts cultivating through your spirit, it's just going to pour out of you. Yeah. It's just a way of life. It's a daily, it's a daily walk for all of us. Yes. We're not perfect. No, we're not perfect. And it, it truly is a daily walk, you know, because we... Um, are in relationship with this living God. It's expected that we should deal with this living God on a daily basis. Right. And so even our relationship with God, if, if, if me and you were roommates and we lived together and I only talked to you once a month, I wouldn't be able to get to know right. you, right? That's right? And so even when you're talking about this um, fashion for a purpose and you're talking about those fruits of the spirit, as you said, it's a daily thing. It's something that we have to do every day. It needs maintenance, like we need food. Yes. Like we need something yes. to drink, right? So that takes me to our next question. So you were talking about soul issues earlier. Maybe people are struggling in their emotions or struggling in their mind yes. or struggling with something that they want to do. What does that look like 
for our viewers today that may be struggling in their emotions, they may be struggling in their mind, they can't seem to break through, right. um, and they find themselves in the same places, dealing with the same things, um, maybe year after year or month after month? Yeah, you know, the end, there's always an open door. The door has opened up somewhere in our past that's caused this wounding. <clears throat> it may have been yesterday, it may have been 10 years prior, it might be in childhood. It, uh, you know, and sometimes for me, I'll say, God, you know, why does that particular thing bother me? Mm -hmm. Why do I get overwhelmed or depressed or oppressed and get that feeling? Because it's, it may have been something in my past and the Lord will show me. And I will go and I will deal with that thing and, you know, deem the enemy guilty mm. and close that door. When your soul is wounded, like I said earlier, it's hard to go forward. And sometimes that those wounds in our souls, we hide behind what we wear. Yeah. You know, you may look fabulous in those designer jeans and your yeah. makeup is perfect and everything is just wonderful and you look great, but on the inside, you are messed up. Yeah. And I've been there. Yes. And um, so the beauty <laughs> is not necessarily on the outside, right? It right. begins on the inside. And as you start cultivating those fruits mm -hmm. and start walking them out and start releasing things to the Lord and letting go of the past, uh, you start, the beauty starts coming through, God's mm -hmm. beauty, because we're all beautiful in God's eyes. That's right. We were made in His image. That's right. That's right. That's really good. Um, you know, I've been able to have an opportunity to work with uh, young people for a very long time, and I've, and I've shifted to adults um, who have struggled in different areas, and I find that um, the soul issues are one of those main things in everybody's life, you know, whether, like you said before, it was from something from their past or something that they're presently dealing with. That is one of the areas I believe in the body of Christ that we need to talk about more, yes. you know, because the word of God, it lets us know that when we come in Christ that we're new creatures. It lets right. us know that. But you don't hear a lot about what needs to happen when we come into the body of Christ and how um, when, once we come in, there's some internal work that yes. needs to be done according yes. to Romans 12, 1 and 2, wow. you know? Mm -hmm. And so when you're talking about this book, Fashioned for a Purpose, it sounds to me like that this book is going to give you an opportunity to do some internal work. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It kind of touches on different things, um, you know, like the butterfly and the cocoon and all of that story. I, I touch on that a little bit about Cinderella. You know, because mm -hmm. there's someone for everyone. Mm -hmm. And and women, girls of all ages mm -hmm. want to be loved. Mm -hmm. And there is there's things you go through. And getting on social media, mm -hmm. I touch on that. I do that a lot in mentoring because um, there's trolls out there. Mm -hmm. And that's a place for women, mm -hmm. of uh, all of us of all ages, where you see they're venting. You yeah. can be ugly because you know what? You're hiding behind the mask of social media. Yeah. And we just came out of COVID, so we all understand what the mask is. Yes. And it's uh, it's been a horrible thing. You know, you put that you put that on, and it's hard to breathe, right? Yeah. But you know what? It's in the natural and in the spiritual. There are masks, and whether you're wearing your mask for protection or for whatever reason, then you're wearing a mask of whatever you're wearing on and you're clothing yourself with or that smile you have on today mm -hmm. and you walk as soon as you're you you can turn it on like I can do that I can turn it on like clockwork right. if I'm going through something and then I take that deep breath that was go oh but you hide behind it yeah that's part of that's part of that soul that still needs to be mm -hmm. healed up and God and it's it it can take time you know but it's spending time with the Heavenly Father it really is because he's the ultimately he's the only one that can heal us up yeah we can seek after our clothes and our books and our self-help things and all of that but ultimately it's in the Word of God mm -hmm. and it's finding a mentor mm -hmm. someone that find someone that you can look at mm -hmm. you know and look up to mm -hmm. you know God first and foremost in his word mm -hmm. but if there's someone in your life that's not a good mentor get away from them mm -hmm. you know go a different direction because that's dangerous you've really got to start seeking God mm -hmm. send some across someone across my path that can mentor me that understands where I am mm -hmm. I mean, it's like you you think about an alcoholic mm -hmm. and you think you can minister to an alcoholic well if you've never been an alcoholic or never lived with an alcoholic it's hard to do right mm -hmm. so God can send someone across their path that's been delivered from alcoholism to mentor to them 
and help them mm -hmm. along the way and to come out of that, whatever it is, whatever the situation is, yeah. whatever the need is. Yeah. And that's so good. That's biblical, you know, because we definitely want to seek God first because God can help us, you know. Um, a lot of people I'm finding in this season, um, we're seeking people out when God has the answers for us yes. because he made us, yes. you know. Yes. But it takes time to find out yes. what we need to find out from God, you know. And so in that God and his word that he left us, um, to transform us, to help us to walk in victory. It is the blueprint for it our is. lives. And then the mentor, um, Jesus was the perfect mentor. That's right. He if was. we want to find out about how what attributes we need to look for in a person, Jesus left his his beautiful kingly body in heaven and came down and took on a body like ours. That's right. And yeah. walked this earth for thirty three years and demonstrated what it looked like to walk in victory. And so now we have him on the inside of us. That's right. And the word of God tells us that greater is he that's on the inside of us. Who is he? Jesus. And he, right. and he came and he's, a, he's taken up residence on the inside of us yes. so that we could demonstrate what he demonstrated when he was here over 2,000 yes. years ago. And that's what I love about being in this relationship with Jesus. And that's what I try to convey to people when they want to know more about Christianity. This is not a religion. This is a relationship. It is. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The religion, that's nothing but a set of rules. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And we all have different denominations, but it's made, it's all about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's all about getting up there and spending eternity with him. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And being able to walk in, in this time as a yes. light so that other yes. people can um, experience what we're experiencing. And so we have come down to our time. And, and so I just wanted to um, let you guys know that you can purchase this book. At, can you give them your web address? Uh, IamTonyStone.com. Okay, IamTonyStone.com is where you can find this book. This book is entitled Fashion for a Purpose. And this book also has a study guide, okay, that you want to purchase when you purchase the book. And so you can find her there on her website, I Am Tony Stone. And she's got a, a bunch of other things that we didn't get to touch on today. But when you go to her website, you're going to see everything that she is presently doing for the kingdom of God. And so as we begin to um, wrap up our uh, time, Time together do you have any final words for the people yeah you know go easy on yourself you you're we're coming out of COVID you may be depressed you may be oppressed you may be dealing with some sicknesses you may be extremely lonely but I can tell you from experience I've been there and the love of Jesus will blanket you Lord right now I ask that you flood the Flood anyone that's listening today that needs you, flood them with a blanket of peace and love on them and show them your love and send someone along the way, Lord, just to plant seeds and water. Um, Lord, I just call them in from the north, south, the east, and the west. And I speak a peace and a blessing today over the women. Amen. Amen. So, Tony, what's up next for you? What is 20, 2022? look like for you? Oh, I think it's going to, I believe it's going to be a fun year. Um, in working on um, a May event, a two-day event mm -hmm. um, with a friend of mine, Dr. Dory McKnight. Mm -hmm. um, it's called 3G, Grace, Glamour, and Guts. Oh, I love that. And uh, so it's, that's, um, that has a lot to do with Fashion with a Purpose. It has to do with cover girls. Um, and mentoring and that sort of thing too, but it's a great event coming mm -hmm. up and we're working on that. Mm -hmm. um, there's a local event here in Atlanta I'm working on and there's some other things. I do ladies day out events. Okay. So I'm going to start incorporating some workshops in those, mm -hmm. but it's a day of fun. Mm -hmm. It's not, you're going it, to, we've, we've been empowered so much. Mm -hmm. I think we need to start having fun okay. and come out and intertwine everything. So we're working on some fun events coming up especially for the spring and going into next fall as well. Okay, that sounds good. So give me those three G's again. Grace, glamour, and guts. Okay, grace, glamour, and guts. And so can you kind of tell me how you got that to come together, those three G's? The three G's, yeah. Grace, um, it's, it, you know, in encouraging women to be what God's called them to be mm -hmm. and grace to get through it, grace mm -hmm. to live in the times that we live in, mm -hmm. you know. Glamour is... Um, how to be more than just a pretty face. And guts, 
how to be who God's called you to be in a changing world. Mm -hmm. So we kind of compiled all those things together. Um, the three G's will change. It's going to change up. It, you, we might go to one city and do grace, glamour, and guts, or we might go to another city and do grace, glamour, and glitz. Okay. So we'll ch we'll be changing those up as well. Okay, that sounds really good. And so where will people be able to find that information? That for three G, since we're building that right now, I had done it in the past, mm -hmm. but we're building it a little differently for 2021. Mm -hmm. um, go to our websites and um, there'll be more information on there in the future. Okay. By the end of the year, we should have it up. Okay, and that's the, and that's the website, IamTonyStone.com. Yes, it will be on there as well. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, very good. Okay, and then you talked about you do some workshops. So if I was uh, purchasing a ticket to attend a workshop, what could I expect? Uh, well, there's several. Th it depends on the workshop and what type it is. Okay. Um, we offer some legacy writing and some like on a flip, if, if it's a weekend retreat thing, you might go in and do some legacy writing and some um, vision boards. Mm -hmm. You know, vision boards you can kind of laugh at, but I'm gonna tell you something. First time I did a vision board, I was like, well, I know what this is. I mean, you know, I kind of know, but once I started digging into it and the mm -hmm. fun of it, mm -hmm. wow, you could, you have to vision it. The mm -hmm. word that God says, you have without a vision, my people perish. Mm -hmm. So it's not just going and doing a vision board of what you want or whatever necessarily as it is getting what's inside of here out and you really have to vision it you mm -hmm. have to see it yes and that's part of the answer to prayer that's part of faith it's part of the faith walk so do that the next day we might do a brunch or something and then offer um, a keynote speaker hands-on ministry mm -hmm. depending on what depending on what we're offering depending on what the need is and the demographics okay that sounds good I would like to be a, a part of both of those yes I'm just letting you know that up front and okay? you will be you will be <laughs> I want to be a participant I that's want to get right. all that that you have to offer and that the three G's it really sounds good and those workshops they sound good also so anybody interested in having some fun in this season after being uh, locked up for a little over a year dealing with COVID-19 you're going to want to go to the website I am Tony Stone and so Tony um, here um, with the per per fashion for a purpose this book and this study guide do you recommend would this book be good for like um, groups of teenagers yes. okay it would because it does get into um, social media as well okay kind of gets into that it gets in a little bit of everything um, and a lot of that was stem from my daughter who has her unique needs as well mm -hmm. and and raising her and the things that I came up will help it's it's mainly getting young girls to where they need to be in life mm -hmm. to get through this life of, and, and enjoy it and the beauty that God's placed with them in them and women as well mm -hmm. it's not necessarily for young girls we yeah. can we do things where we're going in and we're ministering to women and then we'll stay over another day and pro bono do something for the teenage girls yeah. something fun yeah. where they can enjoy it but it's all hands-on it's mm -hmm. not they're not you're not sitting you're involved mm -hmm. that's what I that's my personality I'm very mm -hmm. hands-on and very visual and God used it in that way yeah and, and that's so good that you're not only catering to young girls but you're, you're catering to women because I've talked to women myself that said you know I had to pull away from social media it was causing me yes. to be depressed yes. I had to pull away from social media it was causing me to be jealous yes. it was causing me to feel feel inadequate and so it's good that you're addressing that issue oh, um, in this book because it's become a challenge uh, for some people because like you said um, we're, we've all been going through in this time and we've all um, experienced some things that we've never experienced before as a nation as well as a people you know right. and so I'm so glad that you wrote this book fashion for a purpose and I just pray the blessings of the Lord on oh, it I hope that people really um, move out and go to your website and begin to purchase this book because I think that this book is going to be something uh, not just for teenage girls but for women it and is. you've sent me the book it and so is. I've got to make sure that I get it to my daughter. And so I just want to thank you so oh, much. You're welcome. And thank you. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Well, listen, we want to let you know that Jesus loves you with a never failing, undying, unconditional love. Continue to watch us here on Shift TV. We are here each night at 1030 p.m. on Sunday nights. And we just um, thank you so much for supporting us here on the show. Thank you for your prayers. We have a, a whole bunch of exciting episodes that will be coming up here in the future. And we want to thank you so much. We are signing off for the afternoon. God bless you. And thank you so much for watching Shift TV. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. We declare the light 
of Jesus Christ to penetrate the soul right now in the name of Jesus. That the very light of God would remove any darkness, any bondage. Shift your mind, shift your heart, shift your soul, that's where you start.